Welcome to Your Cyber Path, the podcast that helps you get your dream cybersecurity job by sharing the secrets of experienced hiring managers and top cybersecurity professionals with you. Now, on to the show. Yes, you know, one of the things that I was thinking about is I was going back to my old school days in late 90s, early 2000s when I was actively working as a pen tester. So, you know, 20 plus years ago. Yeah. And one of the things I saw a lot was people tried to do this whole idea of security by obscurity. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you took the old Security Plus, like version three, version four, around 2005, 2007 timeframe, they talked about that as this is one of the ways you can have security is you just become this weird thing that other people don't expect. And therefore, they don't think to look at it. Now, what I mean by security by obscurity, um, let's say you're running a web server kit and you want Jason not to be able to find it. Well, if you go to yourcyberpath.com right now and you go on port 80 or port 443, it's just going to open up the website because everybody knows that's where it is and that's where the domain name is. Yep. If I wanted to hide my site, I can make it so there's a special Your Cyber Path site at port 8888. And so to get there, you're going to have to type in yourcyberpath.com colon 88888. Now, it's not really secure. It's still sitting there. It's open. Anybody can see it but they have to know it's there. And most people don't go looking for a website over port 8888. They're looking for it over port 80 or 443. Right. So by having that kind of obscurity, you're, 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 you feel like you're protected, but you're really not because no. anybody can find it, right? And so with these days, with things like Nmap, I can scan a thousand ports in a couple of seconds and I'll find out if you have a web server sitting there, right? Or something else. Yes, the other thing absolutely. I've people running things on like weird servers, like a web server on port 25 or an email server on port 80 or things like that. And that's all part of the security by obscurity. And it doesn't really give you any security. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of hiding you a little bit, right? Yeah. It, I mean, it's an extremely low bar that makes you feel good, but you've got all this uh, false security because as Jason said, there's, there's so many ways that attackers can easily get over that extremely low bar that you've set up. Now, we're not saying obscurity is a completely bankrupt idea. Obviously, when you talk about encryption keys, the fact that we keep them secret or private is an, is an obscurity play, right? So, and same with passwords. So it's not that obscurity isn't helpful, but I wouldn't use it alone on anything that I really doubt. <laughs> 